Hello and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain. I'm your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our seven day a week, seven minutes of wisdom podcast. This is day 243 of our trek and we are continuing our current trek, your life plan blueprint. Yesterday we started our sixth phase of the Westbrook framework, which was review. While it is the last phase of our Westbrook process, review is a continual process throughout your life plan blueprint. As with all the steps of the Westbrook process, the review process is extremely important. We will invest today focusing on the final aspects of the review process within the Westbrook framework. Since this life planning series does cover so many days, if you miss any of the days of the Wisdom Trek podcast, please go to wisdom-trek.com to listen to them and to read the daily journal. I am incorporating all these daily concepts along with the worksheets into an easy-to-use workbook, and I'll let you know once I have that completed so that you can download it. If you do have any questions or would like additional information as we go through the daily trek, please leave us a comment at wisdom-trek.com or email me at guthrie We are recording our podcast from the studios at our big house in Marietta, Ohio. After spending Thursday on site with one of our Marietta clients, we are finishing up today with a thrall agenda. Paula continues to refine and tweak the course workbook for your life plan blueprint, and hopefully our initial version will be available really soon. Saturday, our plans are to focus most of the day on the woodwork in the library, so if nothing interrupts my schedule, we should be able to make good progress. We will then head back to Charlotte on Sunday. We are continuing our trek today as we hike the trail for day 23 of our Wisdom Trek life plan process, which we refer to as your life plan blueprint. On the trek today, we will complete the review process that we started yesterday, and we want to first look at some key points to consider when reviewing your goals. As you do review the results of your actions throughout the process, ask yourself the following questions. First, how are you progressing against your targets? Are you exceeding the expectations? Are you barely meeting your expectations? Are you following behind? Second, what is helping you with your goal? Why is it working? How can you focus on this in the future to increase your results? Are there any opportunities to improve on what has been working? Third, what is not helping in your goal? Why is it not working? Can you do anything about it to turn it around? Should you abandon the task instead? What can you do differently in the future? How can you incorporate these lessons into your plan to maximize your chances of success? When you meet or exceed your targets, give yourself a reward to congratulate yourself. Consider whether you want to increase your targets at this point. After all, there is nothing better than keeping momentum going when it is high. If you are not meeting your daily or weekly activity task or goals, it is likely that something is not set properly in your strategy and or plan. Reassess and revise them accordingly, then proceed to execute the revised plan. The third point under review is continuous evaluation. Considering that your life plan blueprint is a long-term plan, continuous evaluation is built into the plan. That being said, you do have opportunities and checkpoints to monitor your achievement with your daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly tasks, goals, and objectives. So what should you do when you do achieve your goals? As you achieve your short-term checkpoints, congratulations. Occasionally, take some special time to celebrate your accomplishments. After you are done, look back at the process of your goal pursuits. Did you achieve your goal too easily? Or did you barely meet your goals? Did you achieve your goal, but it took more time and resources than you intended? Whatever it is, take notes on the lessons learned and incorporate them into your next goal pursuit. If the goal was too easy, increase the checkpoint the next time. If the goal was more challenging than you thought, allocate your resources accordingly the next time. But what if your goal was not achieved? If you find yourself missing your daily and weekly activity checkpoints, identify the reasons why they are not achieved. Look back at the previous step of your Westboro process to see what went wrong. Based on your review, what did go wrong with the process? Did you establish your activity goals in line with your key principles and objectives? Was your strategy laid out correctly? Was your plan a clear reflection of your strategy? Did something not get executed by your plans? The earlier the issue occurs within the Westbrook process, the bigger it will grow when you are executing your plan. It is very critical that wise and persistent effort has been put into all the steps of your framework. When you are monitoring and reviewing your daily and weekly goals, you should be able to detect any potential issues early in the process. Make your minor course corrections as they occur so that you don't run into major detours long term. When you focus your review on your daily and weekly task and activity goals, you should not run into being off course on your long term objectives. Our next section of review is to look at your life plan blueprint journey. In the pursuit of your long-term objective goals and your short-term activity goals, you will face times where you are off track or that you have lost focus. Unforeseen circumstances may occur that have caused you to detour. 
keep in mind that there are several trails that lead you to the summit for your life journey. It is okay to be disappointed in the process when you do have setbacks, but face your disappointments, learn how to deal with it, and then get back on a trail that will lead you forward. As long as you follow through with your Wesper framework, you will experience success with your goals. No matter how insurmountable your seven-year objective goals may be, break them down into small digestible daily and weekly nuggets that you can easily consume. To quote Sidney Smith, obstacles are those frightening things that you see when you take your eyes off your goals. When you correctly draw up your life plan blueprint, which is your map linking you to your end destination, all it takes is focus and perseverance to live a rich and satisfying life. As you create and pursue your life plan blueprint, remember to enjoy the journey. Completing your daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly goal is part of the journey to help you to reach your seven-year objectives. Now that won't be your final stop, but possibly a completion of a season of your life. Learn to live fully in each season of your life, regardless of where that may take you. The Bible also gives us some practical tips for our life using the analogy of a farmer. Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 4 Farmers who wait for perfect weather never plant. If they watch every cloud, they never harvest. 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 10 For God is the one who provides seed for the farmer and then bread to eat. In the same way, He will provide and increase your resources and then produce a great harvest of generosity in you. And finally, Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 So let us not get tired in doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we do not give up. On our trek today, we completed our exploration of the review phase of the Wesper Framework. This has been a long trek, introducing the Wisdom Treks, your life plan blueprint. Tomorrow, we will provide a recap of the process as our concluding day of the current trek. And as soon as feasible, we will complete the course and workbook that will provide you with the complete Your Life Plan Blueprint with its integrated Wesper framework. I will let you know as soon as it is available. So encourage your family and friends to join us and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. That will finish our podcast for today. As you enjoy your daily doses of wisdom, I encourage you to help us to promote Wisdom Trek in the following four ways. First, leave us feedback about the podcast at wisdom-track.com so that we can continually improve. Second, on your smartphone, subscribe to iTunes, Google Play, Spreaker, SoundCloud, or Stitcher so that the podcast is downloaded to you automatically each day. Third, on your computer or if you have an iPhone or iPad, leave us a rating and review on iTunes. This will help to spread the word about Wisdom Trek so that others can join us on our trek. And fourth, most importantly, please share Wisdom Trek with your family and friends through email, Facebook, Twitter, or in person as you meet with them, and invite them to come along with us each day. The journal for today's trek can be found at wisdom-trek.com. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, you are my friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. As we take this trek together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.